you Pisces welcome to November 2017 general forecast it's Raina here so Pisces as you can see I've laid out the cards I had to go and turn off my um, beans on the stove so I do apologize for that because uh, I wanted you to see me lay out these cards because I was kind of going wow 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 when I laid out the first four cards um, but anyway uh, the other thing I wanted to say is that this is a general focus. I do have a love reading, a pure love reading, and you can certainly check it out on my channel. And I also do astrological readings separately, too, for each month. And so I can't remember if I've done Pisces, but if I haven't, you can just keep um, checking, and it'll eventually be there, too. If you'd like a private reading visit me at rainandmoonastrology.com. The link is below. Okay, so let me start over again with all these wonderful cards. Um, and I did mention that Jupiter is now in Scorpio, and Scorpio is a fellow water sign. So it has a real nice, a really nice uh, angle called a trine, which makes it easier for things for you to manifest things. Uh, Jupiter is in your ninth house, which is this natural house. It rules that house. So that can increase that lucky energy. And expect in the next year that you may have more opportunities for long-distance travel, higher education, and possibly any religious pursuits that maybe even are connected to work, like if you want to become a yoga teacher or meditation teacher. Okay, so the overall focus or theme for November is the Ace of Pentacles. So this is about a new job or money coming to you maybe from an unexpected source. Maybe it was like kind of a surprise. And uh, that's why they depict it as the clouds, you know, coming from heaven. <laughs> and uh, this opens a new door in your life. So if you've been kind of looking for a job and you're feeling like it's never going to happen, maybe it's finally you get a breakthrough. But it seems like whatever happens, whatever you start, maybe you're starting your own business, it's just wonderful. It's doing very well, maybe right out of the gate. In the past position, we have the Magician card, and this is about conscious co-creation. And magic is something that I always kind of shied away from because I assumed it was kind of this random thing that you wave a magic wand and then things just suddenly appear. And when I began to be more educated about the law of attraction and about similar topics, I realized that you are really involved in it. That's really about self-empowerment where you have a vision for your life. That's the first thing. It's not just about vague desires. It's about having a vision for your life. And you may not see every single last thing that you want to do or that you want to accomplish, but you have a general basic direction for your life. You're not just aimlessly wandering around. And so you may take those initial steps and the universe conspires on your behalf. And so people may show up that seem like they just came from nowhere, but really they are there to help you along your path. And then other circumstances arise. So it's not just about you just doing everything and you're facing all these obstacles. It's really that you are swept along this current of intention. And, uh, and everything kind of um, falls together, falls in place. And so some Pisces people may have cracked that code and, and figured that out. Um, Pisces people tend, not all the time, but tend to get easily discouraged, to believe that they are victims, uh, victims of society, victims of... Maybe they felt like the, the scapegoat in their families, um, bullied at school, whatever, the, just bullied by the universe. 
And once a Pisces person gets off of that, loses that story, and starts to immerse themselves in this kind of thing, uh, law of attraction or similar things, I believe that they can succeed and even the most quickly out of probably any sign. But they have that hump where they have to get rid of that victim mentality in order to do so. So some of you have done that. And this has led to this good stuff on the top row. And then we have right now the Nine of Cups, which is wishes, wish fulfillment. But this is wish fulfillment with the past tense of being the magician. And in terms of timing, remember that this is general. Some of these cards may resonate more than others. But if you're watching in October, then this could be your future, not the present. But um, definitely feeling the sense of satisfaction that you are experiencing something um, that your heart has desired. The higher message is the six of wands, and this is the card of taking your bow, of having a success. Now, this is the spiritual position, so it's not just this purely, um, you know, divinatory card. This is about the symbolism of all of that good stuff. What does that mean? I believe that that card means you're honoring the self. And once you honor the self, you begin to attract good things too. I mean, the law of attraction isn't about, I, I well, this is my opinion. It isn't about exactly what you do, exactly what you say, except when it's about more like feelings and attitude. And if you believe that you are worthy of success, then that is your stepping stone. Then you can be the magician. But first you have to even believe that you're worthy and the Six of Wands is about feeling proud of yourself and having, having a sense of accomplishment. Now, this could also be saying, though, after good things happen, do you feel like you are deserving of these good things? Because sometimes you can have good things happen and that could freak you out because you're so used to telling the story about your... Um, you know, your tale of woe, that you could, you could feel confused. Like, how do I accept that I'm having good things happen to me? There must be some, <laughs> something bad, really bad must be about to happen if this, these good things happen. That's how, when the mind gets twisted, it starts to think like that. So you have to have an open arm, open arms approach where you're like, yes, I am deserving of this, you know, please send me another blessing. What crosses you is the Eight of Pentacles. I think this card is in the challenge position is saying, don't try too hard. That creates resistance. In other words, we're talking about flow here. We're talking about allowing things to happen at their own pace even if it's something that you feel is, um, I don't know, maybe not t happening, like maybe some of these good things start to happen and you want more right away. And so you try to double down your efforts. And you have to know, it's really, especially when you're working for yourself, you have to know uh, when to push forward and when to kind of just hold back. Because sometimes you get kind of like intoxicated by initial success and you want to replicate it and then you find out and you go, wow, oh no, now, now it's just going to go downhill and it really isn't. It's really all about um, the fact that you have to put in your work and then allow the results to come in. And sure enough, we have a card here. Um, the Four of Swords, which recommends rest, recuperation. Maybe you have launched a business and it was something that you worked night and day to launch it and it's been successful, but now is the time 
to pull back a little bit. You've already put the balls and in, in, put everything into motion and now you need to recharge your batteries. And it can be as simple as a weekend, maybe in a natural setting where you can just turn off all the electronics and really tune into your higher self and get ready for more good stuff happening for you. Or maybe you just do it in your own home. You don't need to travel to do that. You just don't, you lay low. The outcome is the Knight of Pentacles. This is more of that card. This is like slow and steady wins the race. Being consistent, doing things um, day after day after day. This card is connected to Taurus. So if you are involved in a relationship with somebody, maybe this Ace of Pentacles is a new love coming into your life that you have wanted uh, to manifest. Um, this person may be a Taurus. But in terms of any kind of um, career endeavors, make sure that you, or career or you know your own business, make sure that you are consistent. Don't start very, very um, strongly and then slack off. This card here in the challenge position points to not doing a shoddy job. So making sure that when you do something, you do it right. And sometimes uh, people can rest on their laurels. You know, this is, I think this is like um, that kind of image about resting on your laurels, but not in a bad way. Laurels, I think, were like kind of the the things that people got as recognition for their success. But the thing like the thing about it is that Pisces people, you know, think about the symbol of Pisces. It's two fish swimming in opposite directions. So you may have had um, a, a pattern in your life, Pisces, of maybe really applying yourself, doing something, having success, and then you have a change of mind. There's like a fickle quality sometimes that is based on your emotional nature. Okay, so whatever is going on emotionally, that can definitely impact how you act in the world. And the Knight of Pentacles, being Earth, means that you have a routine in place and that you don't deviate from it no matter what. So even if you feel like you want to just play hooky and sit at home and binge watch, you know, old episodes of the Brady Bunch or whatever it is that you want to do, you have to do something, you have to apply yourself in a consistent way and you will see success. The Knight of Pentacles sometimes gets accused of being rather unimaginative, plodding along, but they win the race because they are slow and steady. <laughs> and they are, it's really the steadiness. And there is a, a predictability about them, but predictability is also important for the people that you're dealing with. If you, for instance, if you do have your own business, um, people count on the con constancy of somebody. That's how they trust you. If you change all the time, they may not feel that they can count on you. So that's one of the reasons why we do things like this. So anyway, um, Pisces, I hope you enjoyed this. And I hope you have an amazing November. It looks great. Bye.